Today is September 30th, 2021. We're reading Isaiah from chapter 7 to chapter 13. Isaiah sent to King Azza. And it came to pass in the days of Azza, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzzah, king of Judah, that Rezan, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim. And his heart was moved, and the heart of his people as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Azah, Do, and Shirashah, thy son, at the end of the conduit, of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. And say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not, neither be faint-hearted. For the two tails of these smoking fire brands for the fierce anger of reason with Syria and of the son of Remaliah, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah have taken evil, counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tebel. Thus said the Lord God, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is reason. And within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, yet it be not a people. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Ramalia's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. The sign of Emmanuel. Moreover, the Lord spoke again unto Asa, saying, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God, Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Hazza said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear he now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call him Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that though abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. The Lord shall bring upon thee and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the day of that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Assyria. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall hiss for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt, and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. And they shall come and shall rest all of them in the desolate valleys and in the holes of the rocks and upon all thorns and upon all bushes. In the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor that is higher, namely by them beyond the river, by the king of Assyria, the head and the hair of the feet, and it shall also consume the beard. And it shall come to pass in that day that a man shall nourish a young cow and two sheep. And it shall come to pass for abundance of milk that they shall give he shall eat butter. For butter and honey that and shall every one eat that is left in the land. And it shall come to pass in that day that every place shall be where there were a thousand vines at a thousand silvering. It shall even be for briars and thorns. 
with arrows and with bows, all men come thither, because all the land shall become briars and thorns. And on all hills that shall be digged with the mattock, there shall not come thither the fear of briars and thorns, but it shall be for the sending forth of oxen and for the threading of lesser cattle. The coming Assyrian invasion. Moreover, the Lord said unto me, Take thee a great roll, and write it in with a man's pen concerning Mazarazabaz. I took unto me faithful witness to record Uriah the priest, and Zechariah the son of Jezariah. And I went unto the prophetess, and she conceived and bare a son. Then said the Lord to me, Call his name Mazarabaz, for before the child shall have knowledge to cry, My father and my mother, the riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria, shall be taken away before the king of Assyria. The Lord spoke also unto me again, saying, Forasmuch as his people refuseth the waters of Shelah, that go softly and rejoice in reason, and Remaliah's son. Now therefore, behold, the Lord bringeth up upon them the waters of the river, strong and many, even the king of Assyria, and all his glory, and he shall come up over all his channels, and go over all his banks. And he shall pass through Judah, he shall overflow and go over, he shall reach even to the neck, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the bread of thy land, O Emmanuel. Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all ye of fat, far countries, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. Fear God, wait for the Lord. For the Lord spoke thus to me with a strong hand, and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not a confederacy to all dumb to whom this people shall say a confederacy neither fear ye ne their fear nor be afraid sanctify the lord of hosts himself and let him be your fear and let him be your dread and he shall be for a sanctuary but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense to both the houses of israel for a jinn and for a snare to the inhabitants of jerusalem and many among them shall stumble, and fall, and be broken, and be snared, and be taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. And I will wait upon the Lord that hid his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God, for the living to the dead, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them, and they shall pass through it hardly be stead and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their God and look upward. And they shall look unto the earth and behold trouble and darkness, dimness of anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness.
chapter 9. For, for to us a child is born. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as it was in her vexation. When at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan in the Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them that had the light shined. Though has multiplied the nation and not increased the joy, they joy before thee according to the joy in the harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For though has broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Median. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor the Almighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and the peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth. Even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The judgment and arrogance and oppression the Lord sent a word unto, unto Jacob, and it had lightened upon Israel. And all the people shall know, even Ephraim, and the inhabitant of Samaria, that say, in the pride and stoutness of heart, The bricks are fallen down, but we will build with few stone. The sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. Therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of reason against him and join his enemies together, the Syrians before that the Philistines behind, and they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. For the people turn it not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Therefore the Lord will cut off from Israel's head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient and honorable, he is the head, and the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tail. For the leaders of his people cause them to err, and that they are led of them are destroyed. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For every one is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. For the wickedness burneth as, as the fire, it shall devour the briars and thorns and shall kindle in the thickest of the forest, and they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother, and he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Manasseh, Ephraim, Ephraim, Manasseh, and they together shall be against Judah. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Chapter 10 Woe unto them that decree unrighteousness, decrees, 
and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob their fatherless, the fatherless. And what will ye do in the day of visitation, in the desolation which shall come from afar? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will they leave your glory? Without me they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this his anger is not turned away, but this hand is stretched out still. Judgment on arrogant Assyria. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give them a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to thread them down like the mirror of the streets? Howbeit he mean it not so, neither doth his heart think so, but it is in the heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. For he said, Are not my princes altogether kings? Is not Kalno as Karshmish? Is not Hamat as Arpad? Is not Samaria as Damascus? As my hand had found the kingdoms of the idols and whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria, shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord had performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high hook looks. For he, he said, for he said, by the strength of my hand I have done it, by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and have robbed their treasures, and I have put down inhabitants like a vig vigilante man. And my hand had found as a nest the riches of the people, and as one gathered eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped. Shall the axe boast itself against him that he went therewith, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shake it, as if the rod should shake itself against them that lifted it up, or as if the staff would lift up itself as if were no wood. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, and send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame, and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. And it shall consume the glory of his forest and of his fruitful field, both soul and body. And they shall be as when a stand bearer fainted. And the rest of the trees of his forest shall be few, that a child may write them. The remnant of Israel will return. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return 
the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. For the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption, even determined in the midst of all the land. Therefore thus said the Lord God of hosts, O my people that dwellest in Zion, be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with a rod, and shall lift up his staff against thee, after the manner of Egypt. For yet a very little while, and the nation shall cease, and my anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts shall stir up a scourge for him according to the slaughter of Median at the rock of or Oreb. And as his rock rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in the day, in that day, that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. He is come to Ida, he is passed to Migron at Miamash. He had laid up his carriages. They are gone over the passage. They have taken up their lodging at Giba. Rama is afraid. Giba of Saul is fled. Lift up thy voice, O daughter of Gilam. Caught it to be heard unto Lech, O poor Adana. Madama is removed. The inhabitants of Giba gather themselves to flee. As yet shall be remain at Nob that day, he shall shake his hand against the mount of the daughter of Zion, the hill of Jerusalem. Behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, shall lop the bout with terror, and the high ones of stature, stature shall be held, held down, and the haughty shall be humbled. And he shall cut down the tickets of the forest with iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one. the righteous reign of the branch. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And it shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And the righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the li young lion, and the faintling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the sucking child shall play in the hole of the ass, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cautrous den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand in a sign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left.
from Assyria and from Egypt and from Petros and from Gush, Cush, and from Alam and from Sinar and from Haman and from the islands of the sea. And then he shall set up and sign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west. They shall spoil them of the east. Together they shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And the Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea, and with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river, and shall smite it in the seven streams, and make men go over it dry shod. And there shall be a, hi a highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Chapter 12 The Lord is my strength and my song. And in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Thou <coughs> was angry with me. Thy anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall he draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall he say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he had done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout out, though inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Chapter 13, The Judgment of Babylon The burden of Babylon which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sac sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tremendous noise of the kingdoms of nations. Gather together, the Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his ignition to destroy the whole land. How will he, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travailed. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon, moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of 
the proud to seize and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophor. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste robe and as a sheep that no man take it up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust through. And every one that is joined unto them shall fail, fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed into pieces. Before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives revavished. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver and as for gold. They shall not delight in it. Their bowels also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arab Arabin pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and stairs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Worship. How precious is your loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures, for with you is the fountain of life. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Dear God, thank you for quenching my thirsty soul with your living water. When I trust in you, I never disappointed. When I drink from the water of life, I am refreshed, renewed, and restored. Help me turn to you in every stronghold I face. In your name I pray, amen. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go your way, and as you be have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Good father, death is no match for you nor sickness, nor pain. You are mightier than it all, able to abolish all suffering. Remind me of your promises today. May I walk in them and not the promises of man. When others let me down, allow me to seek your face and be comforted. For my family, I pray you would bless them today more than they can even ask for themselves. Surprise them at every corner and build up their faith. Thank you that you gave us Jesus, through whom all power is given. Thank you that when we ask, you hear our cries. It is in his name that I always pray. Amen.
sing Power and majesty Praise to the King The mountains bow down And the seas roar And the sound of your name See?